Hey traders, control the trade here, and let's take a look at Tilray, ticker TLRY. Been tweeting and making YouTube videos about this one a lot lately, for obvious reasons. We'll do a quick breakdown on the important numbers and what we're going to be watching in the coming weeks. A lot of volatility here, obviously. So here's a couple things I want to point out. These blue lines on the chart, I believe they've been there for a couple years now. And I was actually kind of shocked to see this one it hit 5501 was the high. You can see the number 5499. So that, that was definitely an important number. A reversal candle here. Really ugly day. But before that, what you look for, especially on a short squeeze, is you look for these gap ups. You know, I had these lines, these dotted lines, also as important areas to watch. And we gapped over them. And you can see here's our major breakout area right here, where we closed on February the 8th at $30.09 and then we open right above my number here we open being 35.18 so we open well above it and then the low was 34.26 and the number we have charted here is 34.10 so it respected that as support and then took off and then if you notice here we broke down below the number and we closed below that number that's bearish then we closed it below it again had a little teaser here closed above it but the overall pattern is dominant here. There's a pullback happening and we just kept going down towards the 20 and now we're kind of resting on the 20 period moving average. That's a pretty weak move right there. Low volume. I think we're looking for a stronger move down and then find support and then we can get our next run up. You saw the 50 period moving average all the way down here. So the trouble with Tilray is this wide range that you have. You know, even if we go down to test the 50 period moving average or this breakout area that's pretty far away down you're talking that this could go down 30 percent and still be bullish this thing is all over the map so be very careful this is our consolidation area and then our breakout no reason we can't revisit this area here knock out a bunch of traders suck the shorts back in and because they got slaughtered here you're going to have people that were calling this thing to the moon jumping ship so it's just going to be a bloodbath. And then finally, we're going to look for that volume spike, find the buyers, and then jump on that rocket ride up. And that's how I would trade this. This is a day trade, maybe a swing trade. I don't know. You can't even, it's so hard to hold something like this that's this volatile right now. It's better to just take it day by day, in my opinion. So that's the quick look at Tilray. Just a quick recap. Watch these gaps. These are the breakout areas. No reason we can't test those areas again so be aware of this zone i'm not saying it's going to go there but i would be fully aware that we could easily go back into this zone watch 23 is important 2305 is the number on the chart here and we have our 50 period moving average let's be aware of that on the upside let's say we start to close candles above 34 again that would be very bullish and i would definitely be looking for another squeeze out of Tilray. Keep an eye on the short interest. The short ratio should still be pretty high. These are momentum plays. These are psychological plays, but be careful. Eventually we'll settle into a more quote unquote normal pattern. But right now, this is what we're working with. Violent move up, violent move down. You're going to get a lot of volatility until we can start to settle into a zone here. So that's my look at Tilray. Check out the other videos that I've posted on Tilray and other stocks, and I hope you subscribe. And remember, don't let the trade control you.